Hi Virgo. Welcome to the Harsh Truth reading for you for April 17th through May 16th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as per usual. Good gracious. Um, <laughs> this is this is also, I've, I've tweaked the spread a little bit so it's a little bit different. And um, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, another tarot card reader. Uh, Ramblin' Mike's Tarot. Tarot. Uh, I'll leave his just to give more exposure to other people, you know. Uh, see if you like them as well. Uh, if you haven't seen them, of course, you can check them out. I'll leave his link in the description box below. All right, Virgo. Harsh truth for Virgo. Virgo. King of Cups. Interesting visage or interesting uh, imagery. This could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Um, it could be a <laughs> Cancer or Scorpio or just somebody that is kind of guarded with their emotions. They might be coming from a sort of a mature, emotionally balanced place, but they also might be kind of guarded and take on the more of like the, they might be reserved with letting you know how they feel. They might be more in just sort of a, a I want to say judiciary capacity, but like a sounding board. Um, this could be somebody that just might be holding their feelings back from you in general. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It doesn't even have to be male. It could be female. But just somebody that might be aware of how they feel, aware of the situation, what's going on. But knowing their place emotionally, it's probably best for them to hold everything back. So the lovers. That could be Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. The world, boobies, judgment, <laughs> and the sun. Okay, so, okay, whoa, we've got two endings here, and boobies. Wow, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, and the world. Holy cow, we got the sun here, that could be Leo, doesn't have to be, this could be Virgo. Okay. Okay, so uh, hmm. I think you still want this connection. I, I think you wanna feel like you're being chosen or that you're still a part of this connection with someone. You still feel it. You still want them to feel it. And I think they're like, you know, I think we've gone as far as we can. Um, both of you feel like it, there's, it's a karmic relationship, no doubt about that. We got the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Lovers. Um, but I, I feel like they're kind of thinking, well, whatever we had it like is it is suspended for now. What's this wheel of fortune about? This, I don't know. I, I, what's this wheel of fortune about? This is the it's a to be continued card. So we got the not knowing what's gonna happen, but you know, somebody liking their chances or willing to take their chances on something and we got the Nine of Pentacles, which is someone understanding, like, it's almost like valuing themselves enough to know that I'd rather be by myself and take care of me and my own than to have to sort of be a part of something that's just not going to be fulfilling or I'm not going to get back what I'm giving. I think this is somebody that is like, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's best for me to be by myself right now. We got the nine here and we got the nine here. What's this? What's this hermit about? What's this hermit about? The tower. Interesting. So something has probably just happened. It looks like there's been some kind of um, separation or ending here where you both are by yourselves and you're, you're probably more into your feelings or understanding both sides than this person is. You're probably willing to consider both sides. This person kind of feels like they've got their arms crossed and they kind of got their back to everybody and they're like, I'm just gonna do me and my own and you know, keep unto myself. And we've got a period here of separation and isolation due to some unexpected uh, upheaval in the relationship or in the connection between you two. I think you're still wanting that connection. I think you're wanting this to be temporary. 
I think this person doesn't know how they feel or what they want and they're just trying to do what's practical and best for them right now. I think they feel, I don't know, I just, I, I think they kind of don't know. They don't know how they feel. What's this world about? Okay, so this just flew out. What's that? What's this world about? It's a nine of swords right there. This is, I forget that you can't see. But, um, that's the worry card. That's the nightmare card. The insomnia card. What's this world about? Lots of work involved. Lots going on. A lot of experience thinking about things over and over and over again and just feeling the weight of all that has gone and in, been entailed, you know, that you've experienced with each other. Maybe this is guilt, feeling like it's their fault. What's this judgment about? This is interesting. What's this judgment about? So uh, this could be that you're still... Um, I don't know. It's it, On the one hand, it's like, I think they want, do they want a second chance with the marriage or do they want a decision made about the marriage? Like they're just waiting. They've already made their decision, but they're waiting for the final decision. Because here, you, all right, let's see what the lovers is. Because this is saying that, are, are you asking someone to reconsider a separation? Like, let don't do it. Don't, let's, we've got a lot at stake here. This, is, this could be a great accomplishment or achievement in boobies. And this could, it's a lot of work, but there's a lot of reward for the years and time that we put in. The tower, it's almost like there's been this upset and it's, it's a shock. So it could be that both of you are still reeling from this. And this person is like, all right, I'm, I'm out. And you're just like, well, wait a second now. Like, let's take a balanced emotional look at this. Let's kind of we've got a lot at stake don't be so quick to because they're not set on it they don't know they know that whatever happened there's been a break or an ending but it's not the ending it's like it's just a chapter in a book the whole book hasn't ended this is saying okay the book might have in it ended but it's a great book and we can read it again you know what i mean like the, the, this could be a grand design that is is not you know it's like you don't want to throw it away type thing Instead of just being like, well, everything's come to completion. I'm out. What's this lovers about? Okay. Yeah. So this is all about um, emotional distance in space, a karmic relationship, feeling like this is something that probably you eventually want to return to um, just because of the, the lovers aspect of it. It's a choice and a commitment and also seeing that person as someone that's worthy of that choice and commitment and that you feel connected to. So, all right, so we've got them having made a decision about, but what's, what is it? I mean, do you both want to try again? Because this right here is like taking distance. This one's kind of got their arms folded, but then you're like, hold on a minute. And then do they come around? They want a second chance. What is this about here? What's this judgment in the four? What was that? Mm, we got two four. Yeah, this, okay. So this is somebody that's still thinking about it because two fours is insomnia. This is somebody still thinking about it. This is somebody that's, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't feel like it's over. I just, I don't, what's this sun about? All right. Yeah, this deck I'm switching. No, I'm not. I grabbed the wrong one. I'm doing, um, two cards from this deck and I want to know what action we got the sun here. Hello, which could be things working out resolution, or it could be the final judgment, the act that sets you two both apart and free. And in that, that's the resolution and not, not so much that you working together to solve the problem together, but the, an act is done or things come about to where both of you get the best solution for you that you want, which it could be being apart, right? So, um, this came out seven of swords. So it could be about just things being strategic and things being, and, and that does have the element of feeling like you've broken free of something, um, the seven of swords, that you've gotten away with something or you've broken free from captivity, had to be stealthy about it. So either way, there's planning and strategery <laughs> uh, involved. There could, I don't, if we're talking about things working out, 
I don't think there's lies or betrayal unless this would be shedding light on the lies and betrayal and the deception and, and what is kind of being tried to be kept in the dark or something. All right, what's this sun about for Virgo? This could be Sagittarius, by the way. This could be Can uh, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, Boobies. All right. What's this sun about? What's this sun about for Virgo? What's this sun about? So, what did, what did they, what, what's their part in, what's Virgo's person's part in this? That's, well, that's a good one. What's, this, what's Virgo's person's part in this, in this sun? Virgo's person. Two of Pentacles. All right, just give me a minute. Okay, this person is all about, I think they're, what they want and how they're feeling about this shifts depending on what they think they can get. Because a lot of times this Two of Pentacles is, about finding new normal, about adjusting, about considering, about finding balance, but they also want to make sure that their priorities and needs are getting met. So sometimes the Two of Pentacles carries with it that sort of angst about not getting their needs met or feeling like they're being put on the back burner or they're getting the, the, and I'm going to say this wrong, raw end of the deal. All right, what's this, what does Virgo have to do with it? And this came out. What does Virgo have to do with this sun? What does that sun mean as far as Virgo? It's their part in it. The devil. Page of Pentacles. So this is, remember when I said that um, this could very well feel like someone is like kind of being strategic and cagey uh, with that seven of swords because they might feel like they're not getting out of it what they feel they're worth. This is a card of self-worth here. So this right here, this page of Pentacles is talking about an offer that is less than what you originally wanted. It's an offer, but it's almost like a beginning offer. It's not really what somebody wants. It's somebody kind of holding back in reserve and learning. It's someone, it's, it's, it could be the student card, but this could also be taking the time to study and learn something, being passive about something, kind of holding things in reserve or just offering very little. So this came out, that was just a random one, but it, Perhaps this is negotiation. We got Capricorn here. It could be Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But they're deciding and kind of balancing and deciding. And then is this you holding things back or feeling like weighed down? Because this is all about feeling held back, weighed down, oppressed. Like things aren't healthy. This is just not, this is holding me back from living my best life or whatever you want to say, you know, call it. But this is about not... So how is that? Hold on. I don't get it though. I mean, it could be that you break free from the bondage and whatnot, but I feel like this is all about being restrained or held back. Is it that the light's going to be shed on, <laughs> the light's going to shine, it's going to be illuminated what is unhealthy and, and holding you two back in the relationship? What's this devil about? As far as Virgo's part being the devil, what's this about? Huh. The material aspect of the relationship holding you two back? Or is that the only thing that keeps you connected? Is this sort of uh, the money? Because we got money here. We got money here. Someone's holding, you know, firm on that money. And, and maybe that's why they're going back and forth or they're deciding because it's strategically just all about what they can get the most out of this before they're out of here. Is that what it is? And you're like, wait, hold on a minute. And they're like, nope, I'm out. I just want my fair share. And, and that might be what's keeping you connected to this person is haggling over whose is what and, and parceling things out. And it's actually kind of holding you back because that's all that it could be that that's all they're waiting for is to get the best offer. And you might know that and be strategically like kind of, because both of these energies are very similar. This is all about someone's self-esteem and their worth and their ability to generate income and just everything to take care of themselves, male or female. But this is feeling secure because you know you can provide for yourself, and as is this. Um, so in terms of holding things back, as far as an action, what your, your part in this is, could it be that you're kind of keeping things like 
over here because you still believe that you two have a chance and they're just like, can you just give me what I'm owed? Is that what this is? Seriously. I think if they are still in talks and negotiations with you, it's not what you think it is. Unless you're aware of it and you're still holding out hope. But I think this is about the material stuff that you guys have together. That's all it is for them. Just the practical day-to-day -day side. Maybe about the kids. Maybe about like, how are we going to, um, you know, do the carpool schedule for the kids or things like that. So if you want more, I don't think this person does. I think they're in it strictly for their, I think they just want the best that they can get out of this to take with them. I don't think this is about things resolving with each other. I think this is negotiating things from this ending that maybe you don't want so that you both can move on separately. And there might be the hope that things will work out and return to this, that this is just a break. But I think this is holding you back. And I think there might be some, I think they might think that you're kind of holding out on them also. Um, and maybe you are, because this would suggest that you might be aware of that and you are using that to your advantage. But again, it could just be that what's holding you two back is just, ironing out the details about who gets what could be as simple as that. Okay. All right. Okay. So what would Virgo's person say to them after 17 minutes? What would Virgo's person say? <laughs> Virgo's person say to them. Virgo's person say to them. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. Virgo's person say to them. Being apart has been life changing for me. So in terms of them waiting for the best offer, maybe they thought they were going to get over there or do whatever they were going to do. And yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Maybe it wasn't so great. <laughs> um, and they're definitely few, but it, so, I mean, it, okay, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it to your own situation. What am I doing? Shuffling these? I know what I want to do over here. I'm going to use my dice. Right. I'm going to pick two. There we go. Is that it? All right. There we go. The Fool and the Page of Pentacles. Fool reverse. Not a new beginning. And this is waiting and seeing and studying and learning and starting off small. Um, baby step, baby step, step, do, do, do. Yeah. Um, starting off small. So I think this is kind of like a hopeful for a, a you're hoping. But right now, they're like, if it's going to happen, it's not going to happen right now. Um, this is not a new beginning. This it, it could be the entertaining, the idea of this new beginning. This is the full reverse, sorry, uh, is what's holding you back. Could be that too. That if there's, nope, there's no new beginning here. It, it'd be awfully risky if there was. This could be somebody being quite foolish, but I don't think so. I don't think this is about being foolish. I think this is about... There's not going to be that new beginning or that second chance. I don't think this is a second chance. I think this is a judgment or a final decision. There's just been no action or movement yet. Why? Because we're still negotiating. Okay. Um, and so because of that, the since there's not this new beginning, the progress and the um, movement forward is very small and strategic. This is someone learning, relearning you. You're kind of learning, adjusting to the new normal as much as this is. So this is all about things. It's going to take a while for this situation to get worked out because you two want different things. And it doesn't look like this person is going to come back around. So any kind of resolution would be most likely for you two to be able to move apart from each other. Okay. Virgo, Lenormand for Virgo. Two cards, please. Two cards for Virgo, Lenormand. Snapshot. Ying Tay. This, you know, now if, well, we got the marriage card here. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could just be, could just be a couple that was back and forth together for, uh, you know, a while and then apart. Together. Kind of doing like this, like you're together and then you're apart and then you're together. So then maybe there wasn't a commitment. Maybe there was. Um, 
when I say that, I mean like maybe there was a marriage or legal commitment, maybe there wasn't, but that you did act as partners per se, right? So what, what happens here with the moon or the fish, sorry, and the mice though, is that it could very well be that this was always, I hate to say open relationship, especially if we're talking about a marriage, but it was, I want to say one-sided. You two had two different ideas about what this relationship was quite possibly. And uh, that over time ate away at the stability of the relationship. There, this also could be um, hoarding that someone was always, so, okay. Someone could have been strategic throughout the whole relationship because it was never that big of a deal to them. Their focus was always elsewhere. They wanted things more fluid and open and kind of just like this. And this mice are hoarders. Okay, that's one of the things right here. So this could be somebody that was always kind of strategically doing things for future stuff, packing things away, hiding this, you know, just had their hand in everything, was always kind of managing, and it just kind of ate away at the relationship, this sort of the dishonesty honesty or the prioritizing of other things. And I think that's why this person is kind of being strategic about, especially about the financial distribution or the, you know, the material possessions, because they probably were like that throughout the relationship. They always kind of wanted to grab and hoard and put things away and you know what I mean? And it was never about the relationship because this is fluid. This is back and forth. It was more about pragmatics or like it was more about this, the accumulation of stuff whether that's money, material things, whatever. This is just, you, I think you two throughout the whole relationship wanted two different things. I think um, you saw them as somebody, you know, as a quite possibly a soulmate or somebody that you were committed to, made that choice to. And I think they, they're, I don't know, I, it, as they feel, they don't feel like they were, emotionally connected to that idea, shall we say. It's almost like they're in another place. Okay, shutting up. Um, okay, so I hope this uh, help was helpful and I hope it made sense to you, Virgo. Um, it's just been, it feels like it was just challenging the whole time. It's just been a challenge the whole time. never really got off the ground or never really hit that stride that you, you know, that this usually is. And ne you never hit that stride. If you did, it was very short lived. Okay. All right, Virgo. Um, I thank you for stopping by. I wish you luck with this. It uh, looks like there, it's going to be a while. You got the page of pentacles there. Okay. You take care and I hope to see you in the next reading.